Hi everyone! So basically yesterday I went to see Limits for the second time and saw Carrie Fletcher in it and it's the first time I've seen her in the musical and she was absolutely phenomenal and loads of, peop loads of you have been requesting for me to do more tutorials especially sort of a lot of people want like real life things so I thought I would put two together and show you how I've drawn Carrie as eponine because I was really inspired to draw something Carrie Lemons themed. Just saying it's a bit it's more of an experimentation speed drawing than a tutorial because I didn't know quite whether I wanted to use paint or pencil or pastel you know so I just sort of it's experimenting with all different kinds of things but it's just showing you the sort of process I go through if I want to draw someone. So yeah, I hope you enjoy it. Um, I really, really loved meeting Carrie afterwards. I'll put a little picture here. She was just, uh, it was such an amazing day. And if you have any requests for future videos, then please just leave them in the comments below and I will try and do them for you. Okay, bye. Okay, so here's the picture I'm going to be drawing from. It's Le Mirazerard's <laughs> um, poster thing. And so I just start out by drawing the outline of the person that I'm going to be drawing. I can do a tutorial on how exactly to do the outline perfectly if you want. I just sort of do it naturally. I'm not sure why it looks like there's a border around the bit of paper, that's a bit weird. But yeah, I've just drawn the outline of Carrie and then I just try and decide what kind of media I want to fill it in. in. So as you can see I started with a bit of paint and then I moved on to marker and I just sort of <laughs> kept changing my mind. But it's fine, it's good to experiment even though it goes a bit horribly wrong in a minute, but you'll see. Um, so yep, just filled in the bits and then I'm using pastel pencils to shade in the hat. As you can see, pastel pencils blend, blah, 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 blend really easily and they're just really good to work with, except from where you've been using paint on ordinary paper. As you can see, I've made a bit of a rip in the cheek, but it's fine because I'll just sort that out later. <laughs> I'm just sort of trying to go with it, but the paper keeps sort of rubbing away, as you can see, so it looks like she's got a big wound when she hasn't, so sorry Carrie. And now I'm just filling in bits like the eyes, more of the hat, and adding more paint and sort of pencil and just middling it all up together. At this point I was really wanting to start again because I was just like, look at it, it was just a mess. But this is just an example of why you should stick through and persevere. <laughs> because I think it gets a bit better, hopefully it will. So yeah, I'm just painting in the sleeves, following the reference picture that I've got, which is just above me, you can't see it on the camera, and doing the hair. Normally I pay quite a lot of attention to the hair, but I really wanted it to look sort of messy and rough in this, because that's sort of Eponine's character and her lifestyle, I guess. So now I start to fill in the finer details in black ink and this is where I think it's a good thing that I didn't just give up because you can start to actually tell who it is by this point. I always love this part of filling in the eyelashes and stuff and then this is me going over the hair in black ink, you know, just trying to do each strand as it comes. I love Carrie so much, she's so beautiful, <laughs> even though she still looks like she's got a massive rip down her cheek, but don't worry, I'm working on it, I'm working on it. So yeah, just outlining everything really. Now I decided to paint the background in kind of blacky grey with these watercolours, it's just ordinary paper and so that's why it doesn't look very spectacular, but I still think it gives it a bit of atmosphere. And then I'm adding some highlights to places like the hat, the hair. I think I do some on her coat, her face, try and sort out her blooming cheek, you know, just little bits. Um, just basically following the picture, doing, make, like, paying close attention to the highlights and the shadows, I guess. Fun fact, my sister's watching Les Mis right now, I can hear it. <laughs> Go. It's just working on the sleeves and a bit more shading on the face and going over it all in peach. You can see the cheeks starting to get a bit better. I think my camera cuts out before I finish it, which is annoying, but you can see it is getting there, it's getting better. And it's right about here that my camera cut out and I didn't realise, so sorry about that. But I've inserted a picture here of what the final one looked like. So I hope you enjoyed this video, thank you very much for watching and if you haven't seen Hermes already you should go see it because it's amazing. Okay, thank you, bye!